A $229 billion budget deal agreed upon five days ago by a few Albany leaders. Now expected to be passed by the entire legislature in a matter of hours. A routine process being criticized tonight by North Country lawmakers as we hear from 7 News reporter Lexi Bruning. This is like cramming for a test. North Country lawmakers enduring late nights and early mornings, reviewing state budget bills before debates. When we spoke with Assemblyman Scott Gray, he had just finished reviewing what lawmakers call the Big Ugly, a 174-page budget bill loaded with policy, which includes a major crackdown on cannabis stores and a minimum wage increase. It also includes bail reform changes, allowing judges more discretion on offenses that allow bail. Though after reading it, State Senator Mark Walzik doesn't believe it'll do much. Obviously, it's always better to have these things in the light of day and to talk to the judges and to talk to the district attorneys about what the actual impact will be. But the way that we're reading it right now is that this really will have no impact on public safety and might, it might not even really be very helpful to judges who need the discretion to place bail. Bills typically can't be voted on until three days after they're introduced. But Hochul, like governors before her, waived that requirement. The sixth budget extender was passed Monday and expires Thursday. Now state lawmakers are asking, what's the rush? It's not like, you know, we're, our backs are against the wall. We passed an extender. We have, we, we're, we're continuing operations of the state. We have plenty of time to prepare the documents. We're sitting trying to, uh, you know, go over, uh, research the bill in a short period of time before we come back out and vote on the bill. So it's always been that way, and it just doesn't have to be that way. The budget is expected to pass early Wednesday morning. Lexi Bruning, 7 News.